Namaste. Hi. For safe and effective practice of the Bastrika Pranayama, we need to learn how to synchronize our breathing first. The inhalation and the exhalation are equal, both in length and intensities. And we need to find our rhythm and tempo so we can suit our nature. So we can finish and sustain the program assigned to us. The Bastrika Pranayama has a marching tempo. It's alert, it's dynamic but not too strong and not competitive. It's happy and playful. The compression and the decompression or the pumping remains equal in intensity and intervals and this prevents hyperventilation from happening. The intensity is not too strong, it's moderate to keep the vital organs inside light and supported. And the sound we produce practicing it is the byproduct of the sound with the air passing through the nostrils and not coming from the throat. Therefore, the Ujjayi breath or the victorious breath is not practiced in Basrika. It's a separate practice because in the Ujjayi breath it requires a specialized application of the bandhas inside and to reset the inner body after each round of Ujjayi breath would take time. And this doesn't agree or suit well with the dynamic pattern of the Bastrika Pranayama. So when you're practicing Bastrika Pranayama, just follow your natural rhythm. Just make it sharp and more alert. A lot of times, the mind gets in the way of a learning. It's always ahead of us. It likes to accomplish things, huge things, before their time. And oftentimes, we miss the essence of simplicity, which holds the many secrets of the practice, not just in Bastrika Pranayama, but all techniques we do in yoga. And the secret is the breath. It's readily available to us. Find your rhythm. Find your tempo, and even the sound, the melody of the breath. It's like music. When these elements blend beautifully together, the mind relaxes. And then when the mind is relaxed, yeah, the inner body shall emerge. So we could access the higher potentials of our subtle entities. <laughs>